Welcome, everyone, to another week of Carol Worldwide. Randy, the door's open. Is that going to affect our sound fidelity? I hope not. This is a very, very expensive studio that we're in. Yeah. Well, it really so. shows what ballers we are that we don't even give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you'll be hearing this on the 25th, right? It is 24th. I'm a master of time and space. I know what date it is, thanks to my phone. And I guess we'll start off. We've got a reoccurring sponsor, which, like, is me the most amazing thing that we have someone who's so happy with their advertising with us, they came back for more. They got business from it. They Take did. No, take no people. Really? Yeah, someone actually wanted to come back and be a part of this mess. It's awesome. It's mermaids I mean, aside again. Aside from you? <laughs> <laughs> aside from me. Mermaids? Yeah, it's mermaids are again. Are they fish people? They are They are mermen, sexy, sexy mermen who come and clean your house. It's, it's amazing. And uh, they actually cleaned uh, the cafe this past weekend. And you know how it was all snowy and gross and icy and I had to put salt down? Jason got down and got all that nasty salt off my hardwood floors and off my mats and he did an amazing job. I was in there this week, and it looked great. Well, thank you. Did you enjoy your, your coffee when you were in this week? Well, I don't drink coffee, but the tea <laughs> was nice. Yeah, but you, you noted that it was especially clean at the cafe. Well, what, what I noticed is is that um, with like this kind of weather, you just inevitably get like salt and like mm -hmm. slush. Mm -hmm. But I was like pretty surprised because like, even in our office, which has much less foot traffic, we have that kind of stuff. But... You guys got the right cleaners for oh, the job. Oh, yes, we do. Shiny, shiny cleaners. Uh, so their website is uh, mermaidsllc.com. And if you mention that you heard about them on Carol Worldwide, guess what happens, boys? Free coffee? No. <laughs> wrong, that, wrong, wrong. That was, that was the last episode. Um, you get 20% off your first cleaning for mermaids. Nice. Yes. So, so make it a big one to get more dollars saved. Yeah. Make sure you have a really big house. Yeah. Big, big, uh, re I got to get a big house to get a big discount. It's part of our demographic. Mermaids. Yeah. Yeah. I would say so. <laughs> our target so, demo. <laughs> so last week, this, ha like, right after we wrapped, like, big news dropped. Big no news dropped that. There was trouble in Tawny Town. Tawny Town. Really? There was trouble in Tawny Town? I don't understand. Long suffering. I think it was Tawny. because I gave them an idea with the top 10 list last soon as week. You, yes. As soon as you posted that, yeah. yes. Your top 10 caused what to happen? The Tawny Town police chief is on administrative leave pending a FBI investigation, of which no more details are known. Yeah, that's all we know is he was served some kind of a warrant. Well, the records are so like people. One of the one of our favorite pastimes we don't talk about enough is criticizing the Carroll County Times, right? We because community, it's a love to hate relationship, and they're saying there's no news in this article. But if the records are sealed, it means you can't get any news from it. Right. So that's what the Carroll County Times reported is that something happened. These the information is sealed. We can't get to it. Have a nice day. End yeah. of story. Well, not in the comments. No, the comments got wonderful. <laughs> the com well, first of all, I think, um, what do I love? Baseless speculation. And uh, so baseless speculation. I was going to say tacos. I like tacos. Pizza. Pizza. I had a, had a Stromboli, too. I think we got a new top ten. <laughs> oh, what does Dennis what love? What does Dennis love? <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm going to write that down. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, so who knows? But if the FBI has you in their crosshairs, they just don't miss. There's like a 99.9% .9 federal conviction rate. <clears throat> in is general. that true? Wow. Yes. So as a lawyer. A, a FBI investigation. What so could he have done? What is your speculation as to what he could have done? <laughs> as a lawyer. I mean, the easiest thing would be as if he did something across state lines. Such as drugs. Any, any Anything bad that's illegal and then you do it across state lines, then it's no longer a state investigation. It's the FBI. So right. that'd, be an easy, that'd be an easy way where it's like, let's say this guy is not like, Super, like if he's like the gun task force in Baltimore and just like a complete racket, like that's a bad, that's like real bad. But what if he was just like doing something dopey, like silly, like but a bad? That'd be one way where like you could get it ratcheted up to the FBI. But he, who knows? Sex trafficking? <laughs> I don't know. Fireworks? <laughs> yeah, could it be fire? Well, fireworks would that be federal? Across state lines, it would be. Wow. Who knows? It'll be it'll be pretty interesting, but. I have to say that, like, it would be a pretty big. I mean, I mean, well, imagine that happening in our one of our local police departments, like another one. Tony Town, I guess, it doesn't have a huge police department. I'm surprised there's not more people talking about. it, To be perfectly honest, <laughs> what if he did everything in Sherry's top ten? 
Oh, as he was listening. <laughs> yeah. What if? Uh, what <laughs> that if triggered the, the FBI? <laughs> what if the Tawny Town that mis- was fast? What if the Tawny Town miscreant was fl- framed, and that was the big issue? Oh. Oh, the real Tawny Town miscreant. He was the real miscreant. I like that. Yeah. It's like a. <laughs> the, wait a minute. It's like saying? a Scooby Doo reveal. So the Tawny Town. What was it? The uh, the sheriff. Is no. It sh- no. It's it's the chief, chief of, of police. The chief of police was spray painting racist stuff on cars. <laughs> <laughs> you think he did that? No, I don't. I, I've got no idea. But I would like to disclaim that all of these are just jokes and baseless speculation on Carol Worldwide. Exactly, but I just think it's great that everyone was criticizing the newspaper for not telling them more. Like, <laughs> yes, so was I. I was one of them. I know you were, which was like, which was so funny because it's like, were they not supposed to report on it? Like, if 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 the guy is on leave for like a significant reason that's not yet fully determined. What do you do as a journalist there? Like, what's the right move if that was the wrong move? I probably would have started the story with, uh, we apologize in advance, but blah, blah, blah. You start a lot of things that way, don't you? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> My wedding night, for one. <laughs> oh, boy. The it, long-suffering Mrs. Goldstein. <laughs> a lot of people were saying some nice things about him in the comments, though, I noticed. About me? No, sweetheart. Mm-mm, we're that on, does, that we're, doesn't we're back, we're back, The cop. Yeah, we're back to Randy the, wants to be in the story so badly. <laughs> <laughs> one, one of my, one, someone I know told me on like non public forum, he's like, yeah, that guy did me a solid when I was like a little bit of a delinquent. He could have been a lot worse. So, like, there's generally good sentiments about him. I'll be curious to see what's going on. Did he sell him drugs and then sex traffic him? <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe that's just what he needed. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe it set him, set him somewhere. <laughs> Oh, so boy. that that happened as we wrapped up essentially like the day we released the podcast we already were stale not talking about it and then the mother of all news never mind that the top law enforcement official in one of our municipalities was was uh, essentially indicted no 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 the big news randy chick-fil-a number two is closed Oh, yeah, that, that, there's a lot of mourning and... The JV Chick-fil-A is closed. <laughs> ringing of hands, yes. God forbid you drive another mile generously down the road and get the different Chick-fil-A. Where it's a drive through Yeah. Which, like, I think I can sympathize with people saying, like, this is evidence that, like, the mall is going a direction I don't like, right? Like, oh, we've lost another thing. I, I, I get that, but, like, I can't... I don't understand lamenting the density of chick-fil-a is <laughs> dropping <laughs> that's a great way to put it so what chick-fil-a what's, densities are just like what if i need that's a real metric in carroll county <laughs> yeah. yeah before i move there what is the chick-fil-a density per capita so what um that was the wrong thing to say but anyway <laughs> <laughs> what's my per capita chick-fil-a's well we've got what's the chick-fil-a density per square mile well, we could we could do some off air show notes on it. Well, there's Eldersburg, Sykesville, Westminster. Is that all the Chick Fil A's in the county now? We two, you, R I P Westminster J V Chick Fil A. I guess, but what's left in the mall now to eat? There's the pizza place and the Asian food place, and I think that's it. Treat shop. Well, you can't get a meal there. I mean, depends what you eat. Same goes for Auntie Anne's and pretzel place. They have like weird horse, fake horse racing, racing, gambling. That might feed your soul. And that's basically a mini casino in yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. It'll be the last place Auntie standing. Auntie Anne's. No, well, the movie theater. The movie theater. Yeah. Oh, you can get their food. That could be considered a <laughs> restaurant, I guess. Food and I'm entertainment. I'm sure they're inspected by the health department. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. You want some nacho cheese? <laughs> by the bucket. <laughs> so jelly beans by the pound. Yeah, I mean. And let's just stay on the mall then. What else closed, Randy? Tell me. Oh, yeah. More of uh, Westminster hating kids. Journeys closed or is closing very soon. I believe it closed yesterday. What is Journeys? Uh, Journeys is a place to get shoes for usually for teens, preteens. It's, it sounds like a uh, summer camp for Jesus kids. <laughs> Doesn't it? It does. You're right. It does. Are the shoes related to the Lord? They are not. Oh. Okay, well. They're, you know, the trendy shoes that, mm-hmm. that all the, the teenagers think they need to be wearing. Oh, so it was like, was it like a, was it a spot that drew young people to the mall? Yes. Yes, it was. So, as people that, as as adults that have children that are in the hated de- demographic. Yes. It, so, like, that was a reason yes. your kids would actually go to the mall. Yeah. Interesting. In yeah. the past, yeah. Yeah. Mine, mine has gone to the mall specifically for that place multiple times. Mm-hmm. Wow. This is, this is big. So... Whatever they're doing, they've got a plan. I feel like you watch Battlestar Galactica, 
No. Did you watch Bastard Island? No. <laughs> no. It's no. Like, the tagline is like, they have a plan. I was like, maybe these mall people, they have a plan. There's a method to whatever is going on there. So yeah. I, I got a great shirt at Journeys one time, actually, when I was in there shopping for shoes with the kids. Does it don't stop believing? No, it's... That's it's, also for Jesus Camp, It right? says, um, <laughs> vote for Pedro, you know, in reference to Napoleon Dynamite. Mm-hmm. So every election day... Hottest I, movie of 2004. I, exactly. I still wear my <laughs> vote for Pedro t-shirt, so I'll miss Journeys, too, if, if nothing but for my vote for Pedro t-shirt. I'm sure you can get that elsewhere. I and don't know, maybe, but... Elsewhere, fond in, memories. Okay. Elsewhere in hating kids, we didn't take care of our schools properly, and what happened? Yeah, East Middle closed down for at least a day. I got a call at, um, I think it was eight thirty in the morning. My daughter goes to East Middle <laughs> School. Not at night. <laughs> yes, in the morning, saying that, sorry, you've already put your kid on the bus, but we're going to be shipping your kid back to you right now. So hopefully you didn't leave yet, or you, this isn't going to inconvenience you in any way. But uh, <laughs> Yeah, no heat. Apparently what happened was it got there. There was no heat. Somebody tried to fix it. And I believe either a fire was started or just a lot of smoke. Oh, boy. So that's the second time this has happened in in um, in as many years. Last year, it was the refrigeration system at East Middle that went down. And they called school because of smoke and flames and East East Middle was the original Westminster High School, <clears throat> who my grandfather in 1920 graduated from. My parents both graduated from there too. Yeah. So wow, do you figure 1938? He graduated from that place. <laughs> it's the and same age of access. It's been around for a minute. Yeah, yeah. N- n- not not to get political, but uh, maybe repairing it is not a uh, cost. I think it's measure. I think it's next on the list of things to be. gotten rid of so all right we also well actually i ate lunch alone while everyone else ate before me but it was thanks to our sponsor yeah our lunch sponsor is the westminster barber shop located in town mall seven days a week smoke free it was so nice an appointment so nice of him to send uh barbasol and hair for me to eat but (laughs) uh, i mean you know i'll do whatever i can for my sponsor and hopefully i'm not sick it looked delicious yeah yeah, well, we, he's doing um, he's doing something really nice. The Shepherd Staff Wednesday, on the thirtieth, this coming Wednesday, from three to five p.m. at the Shepherd Staff on Thirty Carroll Street. Uh, and every month this is going to happen, but starting this Wednesday, free haircuts to whoever needs them from Master Barber Brian from the Westminster Barber Shop. Again, no appointment. Anybody can come, men, women, kids. Wednesday, the thirtieth, from three to five p.m. at Shepherd Staff. I'll put all the information on our Facebook page oh, that's so sweet. and website. Yeah, he's going to do it what every a great month. Guy. And didn't I also see that he was offering, and maybe, I don't know if he still is, but at one point he was offering free haircuts to people who are furloughed, yeah. federally furloughed. He or did offer that. Paid. What a nice guy. Yeah. Really, and he does a good job. Really putting his- uh, It's easy on the eyes, too. Clippers where his mouth is. Right? Look at you. We've got something going on here. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't, we, we're not asking for that kind of sponsor. So thank you, Brian, for that. And uh, again, Shepherd Staff, next Wednesday, 3 to 5 p.m. All right. You'll have the best fade on the street. <laughs> Randy's fade's looking pretty sick right now. Damn right. <laughs> I'll be there tomorrow. He referred to Randy as a pretty boy. Did he really? He did. He's so nice. <laughs> I, I assume that's a compliment. He said Randy gets his hair cut on a weekly basis. He's such a pretty Ooh. boy. Sometimes weekly, sometimes a week and a half. Depends. Wow. Well, okay. It's, it's, it isn't easy being... <laughs> it's not easy being that pretty. Mm-mm. It's really not. I get scruffy very quickly. That's, my wife, high, that's a high maintenance look over my there. My wife always says beauty is pain. I wouldn't know, but... Uh, <laughs> But I guess that's what it goes through for people like Randy. <laughs> it's a hard knock life. <laughs> All right. So, Randy, you had – I was actually a little nervous about this segment because there's this very nice lady who wrote a very nice column, and Randy has something to say about it. Yeah, this woman wrote, I guess <laughs> – I don't know if you'd call it an op-ed piece or an editorial, whatever you'd call it, but it was – I was going to say – I held up my finger, so that's why Randy paused. Talk about Carroll County Times again. How little does the readership understand what an editorial is on a scale of one to ten? Ten being my grasp of like uh, black hole theory, and one being like you know something completely obvious, like gravity exists. So they think it's actual news instead of yeah. somebody's opinion. How, don't you notice that in every oh, single yeah, post? Yeah, they, they they have no idea what a, an opinion column is. Yeah, yeah. Right. This is definitely an opinion column. Right, and so like when it's controversial, it's so funny. Everyone's like, brr, 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 I can't believe you're. Reporting this fake news, and it's like, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> buddy, this isn't news. This is like someone who is just there to offer their opinion. Yeah, so this woman was posting about her experience in delving into social media. Now, this woman came from a, a long life of a very wholesome, church-going, family-oriented life and decided to get on Facebook. So she, as one does. As one does. Big and then, mistake. And, of course, she was uh, whipsawed by, all the, uh, by, by how people act online versus how they act in person and their strong opinions and their boldness, et cetera, et cetera. It's really, it's really funny how we just get each other's faces and say, lol super loud at each other when we were amused right yeah in fact she was taken aback by the phrase wtf and how often it was used in conversations and she single-handedly is going to try to change wtf to mean wow that's fantastic (laughs) well hey so one of the things that she wrote that really caught my eye don quixote (laughs) right tilting at windmills tilting at windmills she wrote the following i also find that people state their opinions and their opinion is limited to many things First, how can it be limited to many things? Uh, Their opinion is limited to many things, such as travel, education, family, teachers, and their own interest in living a progressive, helpful life. Mm -hmm. What Facebook is she on? Yeah, seriously. Because she forgot the mall, Taco Bell, the roads, best pizza, whole bunch of stuff. So I was thinking it'd be funny if uh, it's good that she started out on Facebook. She sort of just got a little bit knee deep in the water. Yep. And uh, and I think she's got a little burned by it. But... uh, It'd be funny if she got on Twitter. Mm -hmm. I'd Mm -hmm. like to see the op-ed piece on that. It would be called My Journey into Hell. I I think she should go straight to Grindr and just go for it. Grindr's very specific, though. (laughs) I don't think she'd fit on Grindr, from what I've heard. How did she accidentally get on that one? I think she'd get a real education. What about the, like, dating farmers website? What's that called? Farmers Only. Farmers Only. But as far as, you know, people being... uh, She's surprised at people who are anonymous, who are acting differently as they would in person, and Mm. less respectfully. Shocking. She's going to get quite embittered by her journey into social, social media. media, which mm-hmm. is the worst. And yet we have a podcast on it. We have to. <laughs> it's The community needed this. It's required yes. evil. We're not the hero the community deserves. We're the hero the community needs. And she, and she needs to listen to us to get a good perspective on what she's about to get into. That's or She's already in it. And she's, yeah, she's knee deep in it. She's already in it. So... Before we get to the best part of the show, let's go into the golden tractor crank. What yeah, about? yeah. I call this one pigs in a blanket. Every week we wonder if we're going to have a golden tractor crank or if we have to unleash our own. And something comes up at the last minute, and this one was great. It was a, a, a beginning of a house fire that was started by a doghouse fire. What? Oh, my God. That doesn't sound great. That was that in the doghouse was a pet pig that was wrapped in an electric blanket that shorted and caused the fire. So literally, <laughs> pigs in a blanket. And of course, <laughs> half the people commenting on the story were just posting gifs of bacon. Gifs. Gifs of bacon. <laughs> uh, gifs of bacon. Are you sure they weren't just trying to cook the pig? I'm not sure, but either way, a pig in a doghouse on fire, and everybody's okay. Was there a dog? No. It was the it was the pig that was in the doghouse. The so pet was the pig. The the doghouse was outside, and the pig was in the doghouse. Yes. Where was the dog? I don't think there is a dog. I think oh. they got a doghouse for the pig oh. and an electric blanket for the pig. So it's a pet pig. It's yes. not okay. It's a pot belly pig. Something like that. Okay. Well, yeah, that sounds. And the and the pig and the family are that's, all fine. That's right? pretty Carroll County. But yeah. The, well, yeah, the doghouse or the pig pen did not survive. The doghouse did not survive, and I believe the pig was solicited by a prostitute from the Boston Inn mm-hmm. later on. Because he had to go stay there. And he told yeah. the cops night. exactly what happened. Yes. <laughs> it was very honest. Was I, I lit the fire so I could slip to the shoppers to find the prostitute at the Boston Inn to, uh, you know, slap we were, some bacon. Yep. we were <laughs> make, uh, <laughs> make some bacon, you know. <laughs> Whew. Could have gone in a lot of different directions. I'm glad you took the uh, road less traveled. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so we've got. So this is this is this must be directed at someone, someone who's always the <coughs> the, the story. This is a top ten list. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to go after the story that uh, Randy just uh, talked about, the poor lady on uh, the um, you know, social on media. The social media. Yeah, it was supposed to go right after that, but I guess you forgot to write it in order, Dennis. 
<laughs> well, no, I, don't, I never write it in order. Oh, you never write in order? But okay. didn't you hear me say that I speed before we get to the best part of the show? Oh, 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 the best part of the show is my top 10 list? No, well, that, no pressure. Yeah. That was yeah. the implication. Did, that was a good save. Mm-hmm. That was a really good save, Dennis. Mm-hmm. So it's I, almost like I'm married. <laughs> it's, almost, it's almost like you're happily married. Mm-hmm. Um, so in, in response to uh, Randy's uh, our, our little talking about this lady on social media, I made a, a list just for people like her, um, the top ten reasons why you shouldn't be a troll on social media. So, you guys ready? Ready? To yeah, this? let's do it. Okay. Um, it's 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 not in order, so it might take me a second to like find everything because I didn't actually write. Take it your order. time. Okay. Yeah. By I, all means. We've yeah. got we've got uh, all day. Hey, mm-hmm. so number ten, and this is directed at no one in particular. Uh huh. <laughs> is my name in that You're one? You're not as funny as you think you are. <laughs> <laughs> he did just hit his head on the mic. He <laughs> made <laughs> eye contact with me. <laughs> um, the number nine reason not to be a troll on social media is um, the high school prom queen still doesn't know who you are. Oh, Again, boom. also applies to me. Hmm. Uh, number eight, your grammar and spelling uh, peaked when you left school in the sixth grade. Very good. <sighs> really, shots fired at everyone who doesn't have a high school diploma. Number seven. There's a great big world outside of your nerd cave. Mm. Is that one aimed at Dennis there? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Number six. Your mom still thinks there's hope for you. Well. That was not at either one of us. That's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, mothers, mothers always have hope. Of course they do. Number five. Uh, Princeton is still not regretting its outright dismissal of your application. <laughs> I thought that crayon was really going to make a big impact. (laughs) (laughs) Number four, anger takes 15 years off of your life. (laughs) I would have been dead negative 80 years ago. (laughs) Uh, Number three, your opinions and ideas died and putrefied 25 years ago. Oof, what does that mean for people who are like under 25? They can be, they can be a troll. It can be a troll, yes. Did you say putrefied? Putrefied. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> do you need a definition? I do. Can you? Do you, are you going to do a spelling bee? <laughs> Can you use that in a please? sentence? Yes. <laughs> she did use it in a sentence. P U T. That's as far as I get. Okay. That's put. Good job. <laughs> Yay. Okay. So the number two reason not to be a troll on uh, social media is that it is public confirmation of your tiny penis. Now, what if a female is a troll? I don't find that to be the case very often, but I, then I guess she would also have a tiny penis. It's a state of mind. Yes. Or an abnormally large clitoris? Is that the... Uh, no, I don't think that's the... I don't that think that's the same. No. No? Okay. No. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. <laughs> okay, you ready? <laughs> Why not? The number one reason not to become a troll on social media is it's not that difficult to find your house. Bam. Well, I don't get it. That means somebody could come over to your house and beat the crap out of you, oh, which I'm, has happened. I'm coming for you. Not to me. Oh, I thought it was like a reference to like a troll under a bridge. I was like, no. do they live in a bridge? Nope. Okay, I get it. It's true. I've heard about that happening before. There's a phenomenon coming called for you. Coming swatting. For you. Have you heard of swatting? No. Swatting is where... So this is Dennis teaches you about new new stuff, okay? Swatting is where... You call the SWAT team on someone that you found on the internet that you have a problem with, and you like make up like a violent crime or a hostage situation, and sometimes the people die because SWAT teams are a little indiscriminate. Wow. Really? They don't... I mean, they take your word for it when you call in something like that and say... I mean, I don't know what the screening process is. I've never (laughs) been part of it, but you read... It's a a, a real phenomenon that has happened. Yeah. So that's a high note for everybody. Yeah. Don't be a troll or else you get swatted. And then you mm-hmm. get killed. It and could the happen. Them, you know. It could happen. That's high stakes internet stuff. Not like not like back in my day. Yeah. It's just easy. <laughs> we're just on a- AIM. <laughs> Things were easy. Back in the nineties. Yeah. Back when I mean the kids these days. Way back. Yeah. They don't even know how hard <laughs> I had it without the Twitter. <laughs> is that everything? I, I think that is. Yeah. We want to thank our sponsors. Mm. Yeah. We definitely <laughs> want to. Thank our sponsors. Come on, guys. Be nice. Um, yeah, mermaids, excellent. You should definitely take advantage of them commercially, residentially. I know that uh, they have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. 
They do great work, and they are pet friendly. So give them a try. Give them a call. And thanks to the Westminster Barbershop for being so magnanimous in our community. That's right. All right. I'm Dennis Twig. I'm Randy Goldstein. I'm Sherry Hosfeld-Joseph. See you later.